Welcome to today's video about 9 dangerous teas you should never drink. We've all heard that tea can be a soothing drink with many health benefits. But what if I told you deep within the realm of these aromatic leaves? Some dark secrets lurk. That's right. It's a shocking truth that not all teas are made equal. Some can be more harmful than you could ever imagine. Are you ready for an eye-opening journey through the world of natural remedies and well-being? We reveal secrets dangers hidden in certain teas, the ones you should never let touch your lips. In this video, we are diving deep into the dark sides of tea, revealing 9 dangerous teas you should never drink. Stay tuned, find out which teas to avoid, grasp the knowledge to protect your health, and the suspense begins now. Just a quick reminder, the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only and is not intended as a substitute for professional medical advice. Now, let's see the list of dangerous teas that we should not drink. Starting with number one, comfort tea. You know, it's a tea that has been used since ancient times for its healing benefits. But on the flip side, it can turn dangerous on your health. Let me explain. Firstly, firstly, comfort tea has a alkaline compound. But the takeaway here is that alkalides are not friendly to our liver. The more we can comfort tea over time, the more these guys get stored in the liver. And before you know that, we are in the danger zone risking liver toxicity. And that's not all. These compounds can even morph into toxic metabolites, which may increase the risk of liver tumors. Scary, isn't it? Recent studies have echoed these concerns. A study in the Journal of Hepatology in 2018 reported significant liver damage caused by these paralyzed alkaloids. Another study is Elementary Pharmacology and Therapeutics in 2020 also concluded similar results. Next, Number 2. Lobelia Tea You know this tea comes from Lobelia plant and has been used historically in traditional medicine, mainly for respiratory conditions. But don't rush to brew a pot just yet. Research includes a study in the Journal of Anthropharmacology, Volume 10. It shows that such kind of teas contain several compounds that can impact our heart's health. Primarily, it is a compound named lobeline. This little guy acts as a stimulant for our cardiovascular system, but the plot thickens. There are other alkaloids in the mix too, which also have similar impacts. So what do these sneaky compounds do? These manipulate certain receptors in our body, which can subsequently mess with our heart rate and blood pressure. You can only imagine that this isn't the best news for our cardiovascular systems, especially if you have pre-existing heart conditions. Consume this tea in large amounts just amplifies these effects, even leading to seizures. Next, number 3. Chaparral Tea I recently came across an article in the journal Toxicology and Applied Pharmacology dated 2018 that states that chaparral tea made from the leaves of the chaparral plant contains a compound called acid or NDGA. NDGA has raised some concerns in the scientific community because of its potential harmful effects on the liver and kidneys. Now, this isn't the only compound we need to worry about. The researchers also brought our attention to the flavonoids present in the plant, like 3-chrome-4-dihydroxy, which can lead to oxidative stress and harm your cells. Scary stuff, right? So here what happens. When you consume chipotle tea regularly, these compounds get to work, interfering with your kidneys and liver functions. They can create harmful substances that your body cannot always deal with. This isn't just a minor inconvenience. It could lead to severe health complications that none of us want to deal with. So, as much as you want to enjoy a hot cup of chaparral tea, perhaps it's better to replace it with something less risky for your health. Next, number 4. Germander Tea Did you know that Germander Tea, although enjoyed historically for its supposed weight loss benefits, is a no-go these days? Here are the scientific bits. Germander Tea contains like neochloridine deterpenoids that have been linked to the toxicity. Don't just take my words for it, 1992 study by the Annals of Internal Medicines revealed that consuming germander tea has led to severe hepatitis due to its toxicity. There is even a term for it, germander hepatitis. Pretty serious, right? But it's not the liver that's at risk. It turns out that this tea could also be harmful to your heart, according to the Journal of Natural Products, page 10. It's these compounds that can have a cardiotoxic effect. Wait, there is more. Germander also contains 
contains tannins, which, while occasionally healthy in small amounts, can be harmful when consumed excessively. The Journal of Pharmacology, Volume 2, page 8, cites that a high intake of tannins could lead to stomach upset, kidney damage, and even an increase in the risk of certain types of cancers. So, the next time someone offers you a cup of germander tea, you may opt for a safer alternative like chamomile or green tea. Next, number 5 is sassafras tea. You know, sassafras tea has been a unique and enticing flavor that many people enjoyed. But there is a hidden danger in that cup that you should be aware of. A primary compound in sassafras tea is called saffron and has been linked with liver cancer. It's really interesting how it works. Saffron is a type of compound known as carcinogen, which means it can potentially cause all mutations that lead to cancer. Now, let me tell you about some cool research that came out. A study published in the Journal of National Cancer Institute in 2016 showed evidence that saffron can cause liver tumors in mice. That got people quite alarmed. Not to mention, the Food and Drug Administration in the US has banned saffron as a food additive because of its potential health risk. But saffron isn't the only worry with sassafras tea. The tea also contains compound called acerones. A study in the Journal of Toxicology and Environmental Health 2018 says that a high dose of acerones could also pose a cancer risk. Next, number 6. Pennyroyal tea. Pennyroyal tea made from the leaves of the pennyroyal plant has a long history of use as a fog remedy. Yet despite its traditional use, it can actually be quite harmful. The reason is that it contains a compound called hulagone, which in high concentrations can be toxic to both the liver and the lungs. According to the study published in Human and Experimental Toxicology in 2012, this compound, polagon, gets metabolized in our bodies into another harmful compound. What's disconcerting is that these two compounds are not just toxic, they can also affect the body's ability to repair the damage they cause, leading to a kind of double whammy effect. Another concerning compound found in pennyroyal tea is alpha pine. While this compound is generally not harmful in small amounts, the Journal of Toxicology and Environmental Health 2013 reports that in higher concentrations, alpha penine can cause kidney injury. On top of this, pennyroyal tea is thought to stimulate menstruation and has been used historically to induce abortions, showing how powerful and potentially dangerous its physiological effects can be. So, while sipping a cup of pennyroyal tea sounds wonderfully relaxing, that cup could come with some serious health risks. Number 7. Bitter Orange Tea On the surface, it's warmth and soothing cup of delight, often touted for aiding weight loss and improving digestion. But let's delve a bit deeper, shall we? The thing is, bitter orange tea is chock full of a compound called which behaves like a stimulant in our bodies. But here comes the kicker. Cinephrine can take a bit of a toll on our cardiovascular system. According to a study published in the Journal of Clinical Pharmacology, high amounts of this compound can lead to an increased heart rate and blood pressure. And the troublesome compounds don't just stop at cinephrine. Bitter orange also contains N-methyltyramine, ordinine, octopamine, and tyramine. These aminines are similar to those found in Phaedra, which was banned by the FDA in 2004. They exert their effects through a series of complex biochemical reactions that stimulate receptors in the heart, eventually leading to increased cardiac output and blood pressure. A recent 2018 study published in the current therapeutic research journal further cautions about the potential for cardiovascular events tied to the tea. So while it may be tempting to reach out for that weight loss talk, I would recommend exploring safer alternatives. Next is number 8, ephedra tea. Ephedra, often referred to as ma huang, has been used for centuries in traditional Chinese medicines for treating ailments like asthma and allergies. However, modern research has exposed potential risk with its consumption. The main active compound in ephedra are ephedrine and pseudoephedrine, which can stimulate the central nervous system in heart, impacting blood pressure and heart rate. In a study by the American Journal of Medicine in 2000, the researchers found that taking a Pedro tea could lead to significant increase in heart rate and blood pressure. Even more wrongly, high doses or long-term use can potentially trigger heart attacks, strokes, and seizures. These stimulant effects are amplified in a Pedro is combined with other stimulants like caffeine, creating a cocktail that can put severe strain on the heart. In a 2000 report in the Journal
Journal of Anthropharmacology, it was found that ephedrine also houses other compounds like methyl ephedrine and norzudoephedrine, known to contribute to the overall toxicity. So while ephedrine might have been an old age solution for some conditions today, science suggests that we should approach it with caution. Kombucha is a fermented tea made by adding a culture of bacteria and yeast to a solution of tea sugar and sometimes fruit or other flavors. While the fermentation process does produce some beneficial compounds like probiotics and antioxidants, there is a potentially dangerous side as well. The process can also result in the production of harmful substances like alcohol, mold and harmful bacteria. For example, reports in the Journal of General Internal Medicine in 2019 highlighted instances where homemade kombucha resulted in lactic acidosis, a harmful buildup of lactic acid in the body. This occurs because the fermentation process can sometimes go away and produce harmful levels of lactic acid. It's also important to consider the fact that fermented foods like kombucha naturally produce a small amount of alcohol. For some people, notably those with alcohol sensitivity, pregnant women or individuals with compromised immune system, this can be a problem. Lastly, improper preparation in storage, like non-sterile brewing condition, can lead to contamination with pathogenic microorganisms and potentially cause foodborne illnesses. I really don't mean to put you off kombucha altogether. It can still be a healthy drink when brewed correctly and consumed in moderation. But it is definitely crucial to be aware of some of these potential risks as well. Well, tea lovers, we've come to the end of this intense journey through the realms of tantalizing tea leaves. It was a brewing revelation, wasn't it? So the next time you reach out to steep a hot brew, remember that not all teas are equal. Now you have the power to steer clear of those potentially harmful infusions and focus on what's best for your well-being. Thank you for joining us on this aromatic adventure where knowledge stirs wellness.